So if you're looking to use your community post to grow your YouTube channel and connect with your audience like never before, I'm going to show you exactly the right way to use them and how to get the most out of them. Let's dive in. Now, in my opinion, I think community posts is one of the most underutilized tools on YouTube that is really simple to use once you get into it. So once again, we're gonna start out here in YouTube Studio and you click up here at Create, just like you do when you upload a video, but this time we're gonna click on Create Post. And it'll bring you to a screen like this and it'll, it'll show you the community. And here's where you have some different options and I'm gonna walk you through each one and what the best use case scenario for them. So you could just write text and say a message, but I think what's really powerful is you can add an image. So you could write a post and, you know, sometimes I like to use this as a behind the scenes photo or something that your audience doesn't typically get to see or, you know, teasing about an upcoming video. And this also now gives you the option to upload up to five images. And obviously you just click on select from computer and you have the images there and you can bring them right in. Then the other option here is you can go and do an image poll. So what you could do, you know, especially if you're like a review channel or you're a channel that, that talks about uh, different products or maybe you do cooking videos or something like that, you can ask your audience uh, the options. You know, you could show them two different recipes that you're working on and say, which one would you like me to work on next? And then you have the option to just do a text poll. So you could just ask, uh, you know, ask the question, would you like me to do a video about A or want me to do a video about B? Again, just keeping them engaged. In my opinion, I think if you can associate a photo with it, use the photo poll because it's just more visually appealing and people are more likely to stop on it and look at it. And another option that's uh, fairly new is you can add a quiz. And this can just be a fun way to get your audience involved. You could come up with a little game. You know, let's say you're talking about you're reviewing movies and you can do a little quiz on, you know, what quote did this movie come from? And you select which one is the correct one. And you can just have people vote on it and, and have some fun doing things that way. If you don't have time to post a video or you're not posting videos every day or every week, this is another way to just stay in front of them. And having these little components that are interactive active sends a message to the YouTube algorithm to go, oh, his audience really is engaged and interested in what he's doing. So you can do it that way. And then lastly, one of the ones that people really don't use enough of is a video, right? So you can add a video here. Now this seems odd. You go, why would I add a video into the community post? Well, I'll show you here. If you insert this, so you could take the latest video that you post, or maybe you posted one yesterday, and you basically are putting it here as a preview You're going to say, you know, check this out, adding a little teaser there or something to 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 show up, get your video. It's a way of pushing your video in front of your audience. Right. So the people that are seeing your community post are going to be your subscribers. Maybe they missed the the upload or missed the video when it went live. This is a way of going, hey, I just posted a new video. Go check it out. I don't think enough people spend any time or thought into using the community and you could really own that space as you're growing your YouTube channel. So get in there, check it out, and I'll see you in the next video.